You can easily automate your purchase request process with Kissflow for school districts. A staff member starts by opening up a form and filling out all the details. The form automatically captures the total cost of the request. It can also link to a master list of vendors to choose from, or allow you to nominate a new vendor. After submitting it, the principal of the school chosen will get a notification to approve the form. The principal will review the information in the purchase request and can decide whether to ask a clarifying question, reject the request, or approve it. Then, the request continues on to other stages of the workflow, depending on the purchase amount. The user can track the progress of the item as it moves through the workflow. This form can be printed for record keeping at any time in the process. Here's what it looks like in the process editor. In the form, there's a unique field that creates a sequence number to tag individual requests going through the system. You can customize any field in your form and make it the way you want it. Making changes is as easy as dragging and dropping. You can easily add new fields or edit existing ones to match your school district. The workflow is also completely customizable. Here, you can see a condition where the superintendent only has to approve a purchase if it is greater than $20,000. It's easy to add additional tasks and assign them to anyone in the system. In the permission section, you can decide whether to show or hide fields at each step, or make them editable or read-only. This makes sure you don't overload users with too much data and also keep sensitive information private. In the Reports tab, you can manage all the requests coming in for this application and track their progress. You can also collect data on usage trends for your app and how long it takes to process requests. That's how you can automate your purchase requests with Kissflow for school districts.